Hey, what's going on, Freight fans? Freight guy here. Funny, I uh, just posted that video about the trailer today, I think. And uh, Mason was out doing a run today, and a couple jobs to do around town. And uh, I don't think I've shown you guys this yet. So, since I don't have the warehouse anymore, I don't have anywhere to put this freaking thing. So, <laughs> we have an RV gate. Uh, and we've now put it in the backyard. So he has to back this into the backyard uh, three times a week, two, three times a week to get it inside. But uh, point of the story was, and I'll put this picture uh, with the video. So today, one of my tires, and it wasn't the two new ones that I got several months ago, but one of the original tires, so a year old, probably about 50,000, 60,000 miles on, something like that. The tread came off it like just peeled off which i've heard of that happening with like recaps and different things for truck drivers but not on a brand new tire it was weird uh you'll see the picture though and tell me what you think so he had to get a new one so we got this uh this new tire next to an old one so 200 and uh i think 240 bucks 230 bucks something like that for one new tire but with that said, I don't want, I don't want to get crappy tires, so I probably spent maybe a little bit more than I should just to make sure I have a tire that I don't have to change on the road someday or something like that. So anyway, it is what it is. Uh, trailer's still in great shape though, and uh, I don't know. I think it was a good purchase, even though uh, DOT wants me to uh, what is it? What they want me to do? Get rid of it or whatever? Get a Class A license? Yeah, I I don't know about all that, but. Uh, I probably won't post that publicly. All right, guys. I'll check in with you a little bit. Hey, what's up, Freight fans? <clears throat> well, it's Monday morning. I'm cruising uh, down the Santan 202 here in Phoenix. Uh, Mason blew another tire, so uh, you saw earlier that uh, got a tire replaced on Thursday. Uh, this is the following Monday, and he blew another tire, uh, getting ready to get on the 101 ramp up here, so I'm on my way to go help. Uh, he can't find the jack, so uh, hopefully it's in there. I don't know why it would, wouldn't be. I never used the damn thing. So he's supposed to be off the side of the road right up here uh, before the 101 highway. So this ought to be interesting. So I'm gonna come out here and change this tire and get him going. Yeah, uh, not the ideal way to spend a Monday morning, but I'm sure he's not enjoying life either. So he blew the tire about 5:50 this morning. Uh, it's taking me a while to get out here, but uh, do the best I can. So, alrighty, I'll show you a picture of this bitch when I get up to it. See what the dealio is, and uh, we'll take it from there. There she blows. There's my hot shot trailer. Let's go see what the damage is here. Oh man, freight fans. Today is uh. Friday, August 7th, and uh, man, what a, what, a, what a sad day or crazy day for me, but uh, had this customer, and they gave us a load. Um, they knew about me running a hot shot, and they wanted us to come out and pick it up. Um, naturally, I can't do it right now, right, since I've got uh, this other stuff going on, but um, they wanted me to come and haul that shipment. So I let her know, you know, I, I can't personally do it, but uh, you know, we'll get somebody else underneath it because we've got a, a good amount of hot shot guys that we use now uh, out of this area. So no problem. Um, and she was just like, hey, it's, just, it's hot. You know, it's got to pick up by two. It's like, okay, cool, no, not a problem. So uh, I get that load um, entered and, and uh, uh, posted. Uh, paid good on it. They had two 17 foot long um, crates for signs, so 34 feet. And then they had two pallets, just regular pallets, uh, which I 
overestimated at, uh, you know, five feet in length side by side. So, you know, about 39 feet of trailer. So it's like a 40 footer is not a problem. Uh, customer was cool. Uh, she takes off, she kicks me over to someone else. Get it booked, send a driver down there. Um, you know, it's an over the weekend run. I was going from uh, Tucson, Arizona to Houston. And uh, get it booked, send, uh, send the driver down there. He doesn't make it by two like he's supposed to. He gets there at 2.30, but it was cool. The customer was cool about it. And uh, gets there and they won't load him. And it's like, well, why won't you load him? Oh, because we need a dry van. It's like a dry van. I mean, we booked this as a hot shot. You know I drive a hot shot. What do you mean you need a dry van? Uh, yeah, they, these guys want this thing in an enclosed trailer. So you're going to put a 17 foot long crate uh, that's on a couple pallets onto a dry van? Are you going to drag that on and off a dry van? Apparently so. So now I feel like shit because we just took this guy's weekend. Uh, he wanted a tonu of 400 bucks, so we gave it to him. But we just, you know, I, I feel like one of those shitty brokers, even though it's really not my fault. Yeah, it's a reflection on us, right? So it's like uh, now this guy uh, has no work this weekend, so he'll be stuck here most likely all weekend. And not only that, he already had something for Monday uh, over by Houston where this was going. So, yeah, it just makes me feel bad, man. Not the way I want to go into a weekend, especially uh, having done this hotshot stuff and knowing how difficult it is for uh, that kind of weekend work. You know, this would have been perfect because it gives a guy a couple days to get to where he's going. It's paying pretty good money. Get there, you got another load lined up, you're good to go. So, that sucks, man. And uh, I don't know if you watch this channel. Uh, Apologies on our behalf, uh, not the way we want to operate, but uh, we had no idea that the customer was going to all of a sudden request a drive in, so uh, they knew we were sending a hot shop, so I, I don't know when or why that changed, but apparently it did, so my apologies, brother. Uh, have a good weekend. You guys take care. Deuces. All righty. Over here at Costco, picking up, a, uh, picking up an order of water. These are some heavy-ass pallets, but uh, picking up this water, taking it over to the LPGA for uh, delivery. So they're gonna hold a tournament this week and uh, I'm doing this in exchange for a spot in the Pro-Am, I guess. Although I don't think I can play anyway, so. Always doing people favors. There you go. Said each one of these pallets weigh like 2,000 pounds, so. Uh, I'm crazy. That'll work. Okay, check back with you when we get to the delivery. This is where we're delivering. 